<laughs> right, okay. Check this out. So, uh, what's your name? What's your name? Shauna. Um, Shauna. <laughs> You're responsible for the ring. Now, if anything happens to the ring, you are responsible, okay? So, I want you to think of yourself like Frodo from Lord of the Rings or Gollum or something. You know? like, don't lose it, whatever you do. Now, as well as that, I have this. Right, and we got the ring. I gave it you. I put it in your hand. I did. It's okay. We use the earring. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put the ring. Look up, 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 up. I'm going to put the ring on the cord. Now it's got to go near the middle. It doesn't have to be exact, but it has to go near. It's your ring. You hold on to it. Now, if you hold on to the end, I hold on to the middle. Is there any way to get that ring off that cord? There's three ways. The first way is to take a pair of scissors and cut right there. That's not magic. That's stupid. The second way would be to take a blowtorch and blow torch through your ring. I've got a feeling you won't like that. The third way would be to use magic. Do you the ring touches the cord? You blow and it goes right through the ring. Now, when I do this, people think I know how this works. It's sleight of hand. Of course, Craig's really good at sleight of hand. They think that I, like, I'm, I'm doing sleight of hand or something, which I am. I'm really good at sleight of hand. Like, watch the ring. If I take the ring, take it off, I can throw it right back on. <laughs> See, I, I know. I can take the ring, squeeze it, make it disappear, make it go over there behind your ear. I can even make it jump. Watch the ring. One, two, three, jump, jump back. I can even take it, squeeze it, as I say, make it go behind your ear. So if I can do all of that, maybe, just maybe, the ring really isn't going on the cord. Maybe it looks like it's going on the cord, but it's not on there. Now, you're the skeptic, so that's really on there, isn't it? Yeah, can you shuffle these? Hang on a minute, can you do two there? Yeah. You don't trust me, there you go. Have a look at the camera. <laughs> I feel the trust has gone between us now, to be honest. <laughs> now watch, here's how it works, because you're going to do this yourself in a minute. You pull vertical, not horizontal. You pull straight up, you pull straight up, the ring comes off the cord. Then you touch the middle, watch, you touch the middle to the cord ring, and it goes right back on, okay? That's, yes. Now, 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 here's the thing. I'm going to teach you how to do this, and you can do it yourself. First of all, make sure that people realise the ring's on the cord, give it a pull. The reason is, if people don't think it's on there, like before you didn't think it's on there, there's no trick to it. Then you pull vertical, never horizontal, always straight up. You pull straight up, it comes off. Blow, goes right back on. Are you following this? No! Yes! Yes! That's what, that's what my wife says to me regularly. Hold on to the end. On the count of three, you're going to pull vertical. You're going to do this yourself, everyone's going to love you. On the count of three, pull straight up. One, two, three. There you go. Blow and it'll go right back on. Oh dear. Uh, I've got good news and bad news. The bad news is you're one ring down. The good news is the loss of your ring brought fun and enjoyment to everyone here. Let's give her a big round of applause. It's not that good. No, no, look, I can fix it. If I snap my fingers, check this out. If I snap my fingers, it's back on your finger. I can't believe you looked. I'm not that good. You guys obviously you think I'm a lot better than I actually am. That's never going to happen. I know you did. I believe that would happen a lot now. But here's the thing, here's the thing. I can't give you the ring back, but I can give you something worth the price of the ring. Uh, honestly, I can give you the... No, it is. It is. You see, in my pocket, I've had a wallet, and the wallet has been there the whole time. There's nothing in my hands. Now, here's the thing. Now, what was your name? What was your name? Paula, nothing in my hands. This wallet's been in my pocket the whole time. Paula, if you believe in magic, I mean, if you really believe in magic, what do you think is inside this wallet? No, it's actually another wallet, Paula. Uh, hold on to that. Hold on to that. But inside this wallet, Paula, what do you think is inside this wallet? It's another wallet. I thought you were catching on to be honest, Paula, but that's okay. But inside this wallet, what do you think's inside? No, I'll give you a clue. It's not another wallet. I've run out of wallets. What's inside there? No, it's actually a sealed envelope. A sealed envelope, which is inside a wallet, that was inside a wallet, that was inside a wallet, sealed in all five sides, which feels like something ring shaped inside. Take it. If that's your car, your ring, they're going to go absolutely crazy. Rip it open. Do you do that? I'm going to pass out. No! Teach me! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, long as you took you to learn that. Yeah. Well, I've got a book on the way here. So